Hi, welcome to my channel again, Kevin Dunphy, Kevin Dunphy Custom Woodworking. Now we're here to bring a tool. As always, you look around, this is a cabinet shop. And I say that because, I'll be honest with you, I, I hate seeing reviews at some pristine tool that's never been used and you're not getting the real review. Now I got the DCS355 DeWalt. Uh, barrel grip jigsaw. Alright. What I like about it is coming here and holding it. Like I'm loving this. You know, you can put a little weight here with your thumb. You can even step back here. There is one major flaw with this tool. And I'll show it to you at the end. Now, I got the battery plugged in. I don't know if I should be showing this. I'm going to change the blade. And come on in here. Now see this? This is what I really like, is all this metal here. This, I mean, I'm really in love with like the stability of the blade. Now, I'm gonna cut this a little bit, but I'm not gonna use uh, like half inch plywood or whatever. I'm gonna use maple. Now this one is a Diablo blade. It's like for fast cutting wood, all right? Now, you can see there, like, the only spring has a little bit of spring there, but I love the traction here, and I love the, the metal. And I'm going to show you in a sec the D-grip D handles, and I'm going to show you the difference in spending maybe $150 more dollars for something like this. Now, let's go see. Now, the hand, the, the, this is right here, the, the startup. All right, so you got to go like that. So you got steam control. I, ha I haven't figured out how to do it here. But let's just say, okay, I'm going to go here to full force with maple. Now I got this set halfway. <laughs> let's try it here. This is pretty good. This is better than I thought. I thought I was going to have a harder time. And it's it's over, it's one and a quarter inch thick maple. Now, you can see here the cut. I'm not 90, eh? Because it's a jigsaw and I'm, I'm really forcing it. So we're really happy with that cut. Now, let's try it. Like that was what they call fast cut in wood. So... You can get, kind of get an idea of its limitation. Oops. And like I said, just go here, and then that's all there is to it. And if you're new to woodworking, and you're starting out, and you want to do, you know, some scrolls, some letters, and things like that, this is a good tool for an introduction. Now, I'm going to do it again. I'm just going to follow the same pattern. Now is this this is the clean tool it has a little more you can see right here though I can I'm gonna show one flaw. See, I didn't realize that this wasn't tight and it slipped as I was cutting. So I got I got the cut right here. So the the big the big thing that I hate is this. Right here it gets locked and it can slip. All right. Now, I'm going to go there again. See, I'm tight. 
Now, why did, why did it slip like that? Now you can see here, the blade, let's see how I am, 90. Okay, I'm pretty good. Let's try it one more time. And let's see if, if it was operator error. I'm not letting it go. Now I got this tight, I got this at zero. I checked it, I'm zero. Let's see how the tracking can hold down. See, did it move on me? Okay, that's pretty good. Let's see how we did with the cut there. All right, so I got a perfect 90. All right, and you saw the other one off. So, I don't know why this comes loose. All right, the shoe. So that, that's one thing that I've noticed. The, I don't know what the answer is. I, I gotta say it to Walt. I mean, come on, boys. I mean, why couldn't do it? The other thing that's kind of like a little nasty or a little little bit to get used to. I took the other one out because I don't want to get burned. Now, I got a scrolling blade here, you know, so if you want to do, I don't know, artwork or whatever. Oops. And let's come on down. Let's just try this. Okay, so now I'm going to put it all the way and see if I can do a little better with the turns. You know, I just freehanded that, but it, it does take a little getting used to. It's not bad for that. So, when I brought it up to the full, like, it's cutting like this on an angle, like up, up and down, and then it goes a little bit sideways with the uh, scroll bit. I mean, it was definitely a lot better. Like, here you can see I kind of wavered on my lines, and I kind of look at the chomps I got here, little ridges, cuts. But when I put it to that, that was pretty smooth. 
and somebody starting out, this is a good tool. The major flaws or whatever, it was good like cutting like that. I felt more control like this when I was cutting that piece. And I'm, you gotta watch the start. That's the only thing, it's like, when you're in the middle of cutting and you're coming down, some people said, oh yeah, it's easy to get. It, it's not, I tried before, because when you're back here, it's kind of like, it's, it's like, it's hard to push actually. See? So, that's, that's, that in my opinion is a flaw. This, the speed control down here, I guess it is what it is. Once you know what you're cutting, you're good. This coming loose and, and losing itself, and you got to really keep an eye on that plate. That's, a, that's a, another flaw. You could argue, well, nothing's going to be perfect, Kevin. But the, the cutting's amazing. I went from, if you're thinking of going out and getting one of these at $100, or whatever, and you're going to start out, don't. <laughs> the big thing with this one is, I hated this tool, eh? I hate it with a vengeance. It, it can pop out like this when you're cutting. And it's it's not like, like I just moved that with a finger. And you see, we showed on the other one how much the, the, the metal, how much more rigid it is. This is really a toy. And the other thing with the D-handle, if I was going to start out woodworking and I want to do some scrolls or whatever, it's harder to control. Like, your, your weight's here, and then you can't, you can't, you can go here, kind of, right? You got your hand, and, you know, it's, I don't know, it's just way more natural. So, if you're starting out, don't waste your money. Spend the extra 150 bucks. Cut some lawns or do some extra work on your neighbor and get the money for the tool. This, if you're starting out, you, you'll feel like a hero. You know, just watch out. Once you learn about the shoe and the button, it's, it's an easy tool. Now the rating. I'm going to say this. You, you failed on two counts. I think the switch, I don't know. I think having it maybe up here with the trigger on and off or something, the switch. I'm I'm not I'm gonna I'm gonna do two ratings on this. I'm gonna leave this out because I, I just think that this has to go back to the drawing board. And the shoe, it has to get a little tighter. Like I, I got it now, but that came loose, eh? And that was you know why it came loose was because of the vibration of the motor. All right, Does it, it needs like a lock in there to kind of lift and go in. So that, that's your two things. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give that a fail on those two things. All right, I think it can go better on that. Would it, bear, would it, would, would it be better have a power here? No, because I realize coming up here, you kind of want to go like this. You want to go with your body. You know, you, you, you want finesse. But overall... What made up for it all was all this mechanism and keeping that blade in there. Anybody who's used one of the cheaper ones will tell you. So, on a, on a rating here, I'm going to give this, like I said, the other ratings fail for those two things. So I had to do two ratings. I'm going to give this a 9.5. I never give 10s. Uh, I mean, it's a fantastic tool. And please subscribe to Katie Custom Woodworking. We need your support to take on. And I'll do a lot more videos. I'm, if you've noticed, I've been doing videos now almost once a week, pretty religiously, and well, religiously a month. It, it's hard. It's hard to do a lot of videos because you're you're like in real time in the shop, and sometimes you don't want to stop. So I need your support. I say, hey, Kevin, I want you to stop and do some more videos because today I'm I'm pouring concrete countertop. But do I want to show the video on that? Hell, it's a lot of work for me, you know, and, you know, it's going to be an undermount sink, I got rebarb, everything else, but I don't, I'll be honest with you, I, I need the love from you guys to, to make me want to, want to do it, so start writing in the comments, please su support, because like what I said, we, we bring an experienced shop here, we're using these tools in real time, and I, I will not ask anybody, to, you know, to waste 
waste their money. Like, I won't, I'm not here, like, I got a handful of DeWalt tools and I got DeWalt buying my, uh, paying for my time or any other tool manufacturer for that. So I try to give the honest review. I know I'm stuck with the wall because of the batteries. So I'm kind of like joined there and they, they kind of got me. So that's why I'm getting, kind of ripping into them for a bit, you know, because they, they do have your trust and they could have fixed those two issues very easily. So thank you again, subscribe, subscribe.